effort and to bring life back to our environment. So we said, why don't we make a plan? How can we let people know about our idea? Well, like everyone does, we went on social media, Twitter and Facebook, and make sure that you follow us on Facebook and Twitter. That's something that, that's a must. You can't leave this hall before following us. So we went in there. We knocked every possible door in the media. Newspapers, radio channels, TV stations, magazines, printed out flyers, handed them to the people to motivate them to plant these trees while they are camping. And then we said, you know, we should do an effort. We should put it on the ground. So I went, me and my cousin, to the desert, and we planted what we thought is a big oasis, 38 trees. We're so excited about it, 38 trees, and we went in like early in the morning to plant them. And we irrigated these trees every single week. Can you imagine that's less than 60 days? The 38 trees became 650. 650 trees are sitting in NYC. <laughs> that represent the largest effort of our effort. Well, here is my cousin taking a shower. We conserve resources. He takes a shower while irrigating the trees. Well, in less than 60 days, we grew to 650 trees, and we irrigate them every week, up until this day. The day after tomorrow, 5 a.m., you'll find us there. Because it takes us eight hours to irrigate them, using the water tankers. Well, we said, now, now what? We're spending a lot of money on irrigating these trees. A lot of people are coming in to help us. Individuals, companies came in to help us. A very ironic study, once, uh, a very ironic incident that happened to us. Once we were at this situation, irrigating the trees, a car drives by, stops in the middle of the desert. The guy comes out of the car, hand us 100 KD in cash. Tell him for what? He said, I want to support you guys. What's your name? None of your business. And he leaves. People are nice in nature. They want to see the positive impact. You just have to push the motive out. We love what we do. OK, so we said, let's take it to a second level. Let's do something that will give us a legitimate presence. And let's get what they call legal umbrella. So we joined the Environmental Voluntary Foundation, and they provide us with the legal umbrella. Now we can receive funding from companies. We can interact with the government. We can get licenses to build larger oases. This one, that oasis that we just saw, Ta'addiyat. But we are lucky. We got all now it's licensed. So we formed a team. And we communicated with governmental bodies, companies. And guess what? We had so many welcoming gestures from a lot of companies and individuals. You can't imagine. These are some of the largest sponsors of our campaign. So, Bonson, 27 branches distributed our flyers. Sinuscape, our artwork all over the place, in their box office, in their weekly programs, schedules. Al-Kilma Media, they volunteered to provide us with all the artwork for free. Bob Yam Bank, Salam Group, Green Line, Ula Gas Station, Nathan's, and Kuwait Environment Protection Society. Well, now, the biggest logo Viva. Let me tell you about Viva. The team of Viva have donated 3,000 trees. They are making the largest man-made oasis in the history of Kuwait. 
3,000 trees. These people deserve a standing ovation. Thank them very much for the support. Well, there are a long list of supporters that I could not name, but I just made a highlight just to make a point. Guess what? All of this was done in five months. Just five months. Ladies and gentlemen, think for a second where we can be in five years. Five years. Can you imagine that the 650 figure we scrapped it. Do you know how many trees we are now at? 5,000 trees. 5,000 trees, three oases. Yes. We are just getting started. All right. The borders of Kuwait did not contain our message. The borders of Kuwait could not contain us. Our message reached out to Palestine. Two groups in Palestine have adopted our project. They started going out and planting trees. A group in Qatar, led by Ms. Moza al ishaq and supported by Khalid al muhannadi manager of Qatar Cultural Creative Center, and also Hassan Jaja, co-founder of Arab Group for Protection of Nature. A group in Khartoum, Sudan, adopted the same idea. Uh, three groups in Morocco, in Tanja, Ribat, and another Rashidiya, have started planting trees. We've got the seeds. These seeds, we got them from the UAE. A guy wakes up in the morning in Abu Dhabi, decides to go out to the market, buy seeds, and send them to someone he doesn't even know and never met. Just think why. They've believed in what we do. And they are having their own oasis. And very soon, Saudi Arabia. From the very western tip of Africa to the very eastern tip of the GCC, our message has got in five months. Five months. I'm heading to the US. All right, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to ask for a participant. That's a no-brainer. Hussa, of course. <laughs> Would you come in? <laughs> Let's welcome.